It is bitterly cold outside, and it's the kind of cold that gets to your bones and doesn't want to leave. What better way to warm up than with a hearty bowl of homemade soup? Our celebration of soup continues this morning. Rainya has two more recipes to share with us, and I am excited for these. I actually made chili yesterday because I was so cold. Oh, I'm telling you, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. I um, I made a a, a ramen. You know, a true right. ramen with the chicken in it and the mm. and the really spicy hot broth on Monday night, and I'm still feeling the love. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're making a twist on a traditional classic. Right, and our soup. our wonderful director, floor director Becky Check gave me this recipe. Really, Yay, I have no Becky. idea. All right, Becky. And <laughs> Becky told me that it was phenomenal, and you know what? She's right. Oh, I can't wait to try yeah, this. Now. This one's the tomato butternut squash bisque. Okay. Okay. And I had to get started, as always, sauteing the onions because you really want the onions to be nice and soft and cooked all the way through. Okay. Before you add the garlic. Okay. You know the garlic goes in a nanosecond, and you don't want to burn it. That's I've right. said this so many times. I kind of think that maybe. I've said it too much, but no, you can never say it too much. You I don't, don't want I don't want anybody to burn the garlic. Now these are just the tomatoes that come from the can, mm -hmm. and they're the whole ones. Okay, okay, so, like stewed tomatoes, or is there a no, difference? No, no, these don't are get just tomatoes. no. These are just regular old tomatoes okay. that are in there. They're called whole plum tomatoes in the can, and I always get the ones that are of the Italian nature. Mm -hmm. You know, the, like a like the Cento or one of those that you know has a the Marzettis or whatever. I get the good ones that they have at the uh, supermarket. Well, you're making it tomato soup, so spend the money on your tomatoes. Yeah, and, and the, the nice thing is, is that if they're in their own puree, and the puree is very thick. Yeah. And that's what you want, but probably not thick enough because we're going to now add some tomato paste. Okay. And I'll tell you something, folks. Great little tip. I only buy the tomato paste that comes in the tube. Not in the in really? the can anymore. I didn't even know you could buy it yes, in a tube. Yes, it it's like toothpaste, and it's fantastic. And that's also how I get my anchovy paste. And what's really nice is that when you're done, you put the cap back on and you put it in the refrigerator, and it lasts for a lifetime. I never even use that small jar. I never even use the whole you jar. You don't. You end up throwing it away. Right, you so do. you want to do it out of the tube, and then you can put back what you don't use and use it the Smart. next time. So now the next ingredient is chicken stock, and you can buy the box stock that's the low sodium mm -hmm. and add that. And then you want to peel your butternut squash and scoop out any seeds that are in there. Now, is that already roasted or no? Is it, okay, no, just but raw. Becky said she told me this morning that when she made it the first time, she was worried that the squash wouldn't cook, so she did roast it in the oven a little, which would be fine. Right. But it will cook if you if your dice is small enough. Okay. Okay. It'll definitely definitely cook. So what you do is you want to add all of these ingredients, and here we're going to add in some basil, mm -hmm. okay? And we're going to add in a little bit of dried thyme, and we're going to season this with some salt and some pepper, and then you want to cover this after it comes to a boil, lower the heat, and simmer it so that until the squash is completely cooked. Okay. And this will take a good, I'm going to say, 30 minutes or so. So obviously we had to do that here ahead. It's really good. And our squash is nice and soft. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just add in. You can do heavy cream or half and half, but I wouldn't do milk color. or skim milk or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I, I would I would just go do the real thing. But this isn't done because you have to blend it up. Right. And I brought my immersion blender with me. Good Make thing. sure you put it down in there. And you just want to continue to go around. Now you could do this, Heather, in a blender. Right. But if you do it in a blender, I'd like to caution you and all of our viewers to be very, very careful to do small batches at a time. Okay. To make sure that you always put a kitchen towel on top of the blender itself. Because the heat and the steam. It could pop right up and really burn you. Yeah. So you want to be careful, but look at, I'm hoping we have a, we're getting a good shot of this. It's beautiful. So you periodically, you just want to go down in there. How are we doing on time? 
about a minute left. Oh, that's all we're going to need. <laughs> that's all we're going to need. Why don't you give me the green bowl? Ooh. I kind of think that'll look better. And we'll save the chicken enchilada soup for the yellow bowl. Okay. But periodically, you just pick up your blender and go back down in there. Now, at one point, this is going to be completely blended. It really, it looks gorgeous. And such a nice take on a classic soup. It is such a nice take because you're adding the butternut squash, so you're adding in yet another vegetable. Right. And, and honestly, it you know, adds a, for a, whoa, a wonderful taste dimension to it. And I think we're pretty much ready. If you have a chunk or two, That's it's fine. fine. I think that would Could you grab a ladle from behind? Yes, I will. Thank right. you. Here we go. All right. So you say cook it about a half an hour on the stove? Uh huh. Until or until, until the um, squash is completely tender. And Beck, do you serve this with uh, grilled cheese or anything? Ooh, grilled yeah. cheese would be so good. Becky's over there nodding in agreement. She's staying as far away from this kitchen set as she. She's <laughs> afraid she's going to be on television. Want, she doesn't want anything to do with it. There, now I great. think we're ready. Okay. Looks great. Put that down here. Okay. All right. I can't wait to try this. Oh, I think you're going to be very pleased. Okay, well, as you plate this up, we're going to go to break. And put a little pepper on it and some more basil. Okay, I'll, I'll wait until we get back to try okay. it. Okay. We'll be right back after hot. this break. It'll be hot. <laughs>